Hi, I'm Linda Davis, a member of Anna Aspinus's creative team. On March 10th, Anna posted on her blog a wonderful list entitled 13 Ways to Use Artsy Transfers, complete with layout examples from the creative team. I hope you've had a chance to read the post and view the examples. I know it sparked my imagination with even more possibilities for using the artsy transfers. In my last video, I shared one of those listed techniques, how I created an artsy card with the artsy transfers for use on my two-page spread. Today, in response to your comments, and I want to thank you for taking the time to give us feedback, I'd like to share how I use the transfers on the left side of my two-page spread. I want to share three specific ways I worked with the transfers and explain my thinking regarding why I made my choices for this page. Specifically, I changed the layer visibility of some transfer layers, I modified layers with brushes on a layer mask, and I rearranged the order of layers of transfers. Here's the photo that I started with. I shot this with my cell phone early one morning coming back from the gym. And if you look at the layers panel, you can see that I duplicated my photo three times. To each copy, I attached an inverted mask and brought back the ground, bushes, and tree with brushes from Anna Blends Artsy Number no. 4. For more information on using inverted masking, Anna has a video available in her store, Anna Blends Number no. 4 Inverted Masking. On my page, one copy, one photocopy is on linear burn, the next one hard light, and the third one color dodge. And when you zoom in on the photo, you can see the lovely texture that the um, Anna Blends Artsy Brushes can give a photo. Below these copies, I placed a copy of Solid Paper 2 from Art Play Capture. I attached another inverted mask and brought back a little of the paper's texture to create more dimension on my page. Once I had my photo in place, then I began working with the Artsy Transfers. For this photo, I wanted to use the transfers for color and texture. The texture to give my page more dimension and the color to create more unity between my two photo of the day pages. So let's see if I can get the two files that I need lined up together. All right. Now, I want to make sure that I'm in the right place for bringing these transfers over and then I'm going to go over to my transfers. Now I added a number. They don't usually come this way. Um, just for the sake of convenience today, I do not normally do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the top layer and shift click the bottom layer and I'm going to drag them all over to my layout and put them in the position I think that I want them and then I can have them all arrange my window so I can just see what the, uh, the layout that I'm working on. Since I'm not going to clip any, uh, any photo, any of my photo layers to any of the uh, transfer layers and I only want to use the textures and color I am going to go through first and turn off the layers that are named transfer. So that is number five, layer six, layer seven, and layer ten. And as I go through the layers, I'm going to start back at the top. As I go through the layers, I'm going to turn them off and on so you can see the, their position and see what changes that I made. I am pressing to see just the um, just the one layer. I am pre pressing option plus clicking on the visibility eye for the layer and that would be alt plus clicking the eye on a PC. So I'm using option. I want that 
layer to stay, and I, I know I want the spatters to stay. This texture is a little high, so I am going to bring it down. And I'll enlarge this so you can see a little better. And I am going to attach a layer mask to this. And I'm going to choose B for my brush panel, and I'm going to select one of the artsy brushes that I have loaded. And I am going to reduce my opacity to about 50%. And I'm going to just even it out a little. I don't want a harsh line. I like the texture, but I don't want a harsh line. And I actually press V again to get myself back to the move. I may even move it down just a little more. Now, texture 4. This is what texture 4 looks like. I love the texture because actually I can use it to create more uh, buildup with snow. If I move it down a little, which I'm going to do, you can see what it does. But I need, I want to mask out a little bit of that line, so I'm going to add another layout, um, layer mask uh, using the add layer mask little eye, and I'm going to turn on my brushes, and I'll enlarge it, and I'm just going to mask out that part of it. And I may mask out just a little of this one as well, so it's not quite as heavy. But I now I have a little bit more of the look of snow, and I'm going to press V to get myself back where I can move things. No, I need to make a little more adjustment. B and sometimes it is just trial and error. Okay, so I've already got five, six, seven, eight. Let's see where eight is. Oh, I want that. I'm going to leave that on. Texture 10, yes. Texture 9, yes. I wonder if texture 9 would work. A little more snow, actually. I think I will give myself a little more snow on the ground. Okay, take. Transfer to was a tin. Here's the art stroke. This is the layer I want. It shows, but I want it to really show more because I'm going to use its curves to emphasize something. So I'm going to bring it all the way up above my photo layers, and I'm going to transform Command T or Control T. And if I press Control and click, which would be right click on a PC, I can flip this horizontally and I'm going to shift it just a little. I like to follow the lines that are here. Okay, now that's in position. Now I'm going to go down, that was number 11, 12, is a stain. Let's see where that's at. I don't really need that and it won't affect the color that's oh the that are in the stains. So I'm going to turn off 12. I'm going to leave that one because it may be affecting the color that's here and I want I don't want to change that. This stain is up here. It's hard to see, but it's up here at the top. So I'm going to click it on and then turn that one off. Then there's paint. I want that. That stain I'm going to leave. In fact, the rest of these I'm going to um, leave because they very well may affect the color. Now, on the right side, so that finishes the left side of my page. On the right side of my page, I want to um, make sure that I'm below all my photo layers. And I'm going to, this time I'm going to open up transfer 5 and I need to move that over so you can see it. Okay, now I'm going to click and then shift click so that I have all of the layers 
and I'm going to drag them over to my file. Now they're not in the right position. So what I'm going to do, I have them still, if you can look at my layers panel, you'll see that they're all still highlighted. So I'm going to Command T or Control T on a PC. I'm going to Control Click or right click on a PC and I'm going to flip them, rotate them 90 degrees clockwise. And now I'm going to move it in to position. Okay, that's about right. I want my photo to bleed through that. And the only layer on this one that I changed, I moved the art stroke up above my all of my photo layers and I'm going to shift shift its position just a little to follow the lines in my photo. Okay, now the rest of this layer layout I'm basically finished with my transfers. The rest of the layout is, if you can see up here, I added the faded words, my journaling, the date, my text, and my title. I added a button which I recolored slightly, and some stitches to stitch it down and I'm finished with my layout. That finishes this layout. I hope you have found this video helpful. Layered PSD transfers offer so many possibilities for creating artsy pages. The list on a posted March 10th was just a starting point to spark your creativity. I think I've tried most of the 13 ways on one layout or another. But the more I use the transfers, the more possibilities I see for using them on my scrapbook pages. You will find more specifics about how team members use the transfers in the process notes for their own layouts in the gallery. Please let us know what else you would like to know about how to use the Artsy transfers or any of the other products that Anna designs by leaving a comment below or sending Anna an email at Anna underscore aspenis at yahoo.com. Your feedback about what you want to learn will help us plan future video content. Artsy transfers are available in Anna store under elements and then transfers. The video Anna blends number four inverted masking is also available in Anna store under education at O Scraps.